Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Delightful Kiss Boy, and today I've got a very special video for you because I am going to be trying to play against my own AI and see if I can beat him. So this is the Expectimax AI that I talked about in my uh, couple videos ago. Uh, same AI, I've added a little bit of parallelization, so maybe it'll go a little bit faster. I'm still working on the perf issues, but uh, the important thing is I've added the ability for humans to play the game now. So I am actually able to face off against this AI and we're going to see how I do. Probably not well because it's playing much more closely to optimal than I will be, but uh, it'll be fun to see nonetheless. So I'm going to give it a, a try or two, see if I can uh, whoop his ass, but uh, in all likelihood, I'm probably get, going to get my ass whooped, especially because I'm going second right now. So let's just start. Let's just see what happens. So. The, the initial loadout is one live, two blank, all right? So we gotta remember that, because I'm hiding the shells now, so I can't cheat. So we're at three health, it's one live, two blank, and then Wayne gets to go first, so let's see what happens. So he gets a burner phone and a beer, and I get a beer and an inverter, and so let's see what he does. One live, two blank. So he's gonna use the burner phone, he learns uh, the last shell, he's gonna use the beer now, he ejects the live shell, so now he's gonna shoot himself twice here, and he gets to go first in the next loadout. So I got Adrenaline, Handsaw, so it's three live, one blank now. Um, I got Adrenaline, Handsaw, and then he got Cigarettes, Inverter. So three and one. Uh, let's see what he does. He's gonna take his turn, he's thinking he's gonna shoot at us, but he hits us with a blank. All right, sweet, so now the rest are live. So let me think about what I wanna do here. Uh, because ideally what I wanna do is I want him taking the last shot. Um, and what I can do to guarantee that is I think I can just saw it off here and shoot him. I could even steal his cigarettes here so he can't heal back up. So if I saw it off and I shoot him, if he inverts, he's hitting me with the last shot. If he doesn't invert, he shoots me and then I can invert and then take the first turn in the next loadout and probably win. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to steal his cigarettes so he can't use them. So let's do that first. Take the cigarettes even though I don't get value out of it, but it just deprives him of uh, gaining health back. I'm going to saw it off. And then I'm going to pick up the shotgun and I'm going to shoot him for two. You can see I had a little blood splatter animations. They're pretty cute. Um, and then he's at one health, which is good. So now it's, one in, it's uh, two live. So let's see what he does. He's going to invert... And he's going to aim at himself, uh, at himself, excuse me, and he's going to shoot at us. Um, so that saves him so he doesn't die, but then we still get to go first in the next loadout. So this is a pretty good position to be in. Alright, so it's two live, two blank now. Let's take out Steph from the box. So two live, two blank, and I get to go again. So I'm going to use cigarettes, no reason not to. Um, two live, two blank. Uh, and I just got to deal one damage to him. So I think what I'll do here is I'll use the beer, eject a live, all right, and I'm going to invert it because there's two blanks now. So this makes it so I have a two-third chance of hitting him from one. There's no reason to use handsaw here. Um, I mean, I guess I could not. Nah, it should be fine. All right, so this is probably a win. Uh, it was a blank, though, so that was the last live. So now the two remaining ones are blanks. So we pass to him. He's going to shoot himself twice here. Unfortunate. And he gets to go first in the next loadout. All right, well, let's see what happens. So he's going to grab a bunch of shit. Let's see what uh, what he does. All right, we got a lot of shells now. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to what the, the loadout is. Anyway, he goes back up to two. He's thinking about it. I think it might have been four and two. Uh, I'm just going to assume that that's what it was. I got to remember to remember <laughs> the shells. All right. Anyway, he's thinking, though. He's in the tank. He's probably going to be thinking for a minute here when there's burner phones on the table. Um, they can, the AI can go into the tank for a bit, um, just because there's a lot of possibilities for what he learns and yada, yada, yada. So we'll see what happens. All right. So he's going to use a burner phone and he learns a future shell. We don't know which one it is. And then let's see what he does next year. Um, maybe use another burner phone. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see. All right, so he's going to use one burner phone, so we learned one shell from this position to the last position. We don't know which one. All right, he's going to use the other burner phone. So we he, um, learned another shell, potentially the same one between here and here. Excuse me. 
All right, let's see what he does next. He's gonna use a magnifying glass too. Is he gonna start ejecting? So he uses a magnifying glass. He learns what the next shell is. So let's see what he does here. I wonder if it's, if it's alive. I wonder if he ejects it with booze or what he's gonna do. I got a jammer, so it's pretty likely that I win here. Um, actually, I, I have a guaranteed win. Never mind. Because, yeah, I think he's just using all of his items. I have a magnifying glass inverter and a handsaw. So he, he can't kill me. So no matter what, um, I win here. So he ejects a blank. He's thinking here. I mean, I think he's just looking at every single possibility, but it's impossible for him to win here, I think. Unless maybe he gets through every blank. So he uses beer, and then uh, he ejects a live one. He's aiming at himself. Um, hits him with a blank. Wait, why, why'd he go? Oh, yeah, never mind, never mind. Sorry, I'm being stupid. So now uh, he is going to shoot himself here. And uh, then he's ejecting. And he shoots at me. Okay, so that was the... Okay, wow. Well, so he made it through the loadout. I think that was the only way he can survive, but now I guarantee win. That was the only way he could survive that loadout. Um, but I'm out of space here. It doesn't really matter, though, because I get to start. And all I got to do is take a peek here with the magnifying glass and then saw it off. And we win the round. All right, sweet. I've got one round up on Wayne. Boom, bitch. And uh, we're going to go to the ne to round two. So he gets to start round two, um, and we'll see what happens here. So he's got a beer and a phone. Also, three live, one blank. i got to remember to look at that shit. Maybe I should add this log after we grab the items. I keep... Because in the game, you grab your items first, then you learn the loadout. Whatever. I don't know. I'm working on it. Anyway, um, he got a uh, phone and two beers. And then I got beer, cigarettes, phone. Okay, so he's going to start. Let's see what he does. Three and one. Three and one. So he's going to take his turn. He's going to eject one. He ejects a live, so it's two and one. He's going to use burner phone here. He sees a future shell, this, this shell over here. Um, and he's going to eject another one. He ejects a blank. So now it's two, it's two live. Oh, so that means that we're going to have to take the last shot. Uh, let me use my cigarettes here. Um, no reason not to, and then he can't steal them from me or whatever. Um, there's no reason to do anything else here. If I use beer, it gets passed back to him, uh, which isn't good. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick up the shotgun and shoot him. All right, so he's a two, but he gets to start the new loadout, which is not great. But uh, And he's got a jammer as well. Um, oh, shit. I was Once again, okay. i got to make it so that it tells me the... Uh, the, the shells after we grab our items. But anyway, there's five shells. It's, I think it's either three and two or, um, yeah, I think, or two and three. I don't know. I think it's three and two. All right, let's see what Wayne does here. He's going to take his turn. He's using cigarettes. Makes sense. Uh, he's thinking here. Probably going to use jammer, I would assume, because I have adrenaline, so I could just steal his jammer and use it for myself, which would not be good. Yeah, so he's using jammer here. He jams me. And then let's see what he does next. So he's going to use the inverter. So, okay, if he's using the inverter, I'm going to guess that it's a uh, two and three round then. All right. So he inverts that shell, and he's going to use handsaw here and try to shoot me for two, which he does. Oof. And then now uh, it gets passed to me, but I'm jammed. And then it passes back to Wayne. So I'm assuming it's two and two now. And then he's going to take an aim at me. Hits me with a blank. Okay, sweet. So now that, that was clutch. So what I have to do here is uh, now it's, I think it's two and one. So I'm gonna take my turn here. Um, two and one. So I think what I wanna do here is I'm gonna use the burner phone. Uh, so we learned that, that the last shell is live. Um, so what does that tell me? Uh, I think what that tells me is that um, I wanna use one beer here for sure. Okay, so we eject the live. That means the next one is blank. Um, unfortunately, I cannot... I can't I can't get it so that uh, I get... So he's going to be able to take the next turn no matter what. I obviously can't have him shoot that shell into me. So the only thing I could do here is, uh, you know, turn around on myself, and then it's a blank, and then I will saw it off and hit him for two. Um, but... Uh, we're probably dead here because he gets to go first on the new loadout. Yeah, and he got a magnifying glass. Yeah, that's a guaranteed loss. Um, so we're dead. Uh, it's unfortunate, but, uh, you know, what can you do? Um, and uh, then he shoots us, and we're dead. All right, so we move on to round three. Now, let's see. I got to go first here, so maybe I can clutch out a win. 
All right, so I got a handsaw, I got beer, I got magnifying glass, and he's got jammer, oof, um, inverter, beer. We have four health each, and let's see. I'm gonna start here. Oh shit! Once once again, I I was not looking at the uh, the loadout. Was it three and two? <laughs> God damn it! All right, I'm gonna assume it's uh, three and two, but I think uh, what I want to do anyway is probably. Does using beer here help me at all? I don't really think it does. So I'm gonna use the magnifying glass. All right, we see a live one. I'll saw it off, and then I'm gonna shoot him for two here. And then he's gonna get to do a lot of stuff, but he's at two health, which is good. He's gonna jam he's gonna use the inverter. Okay, so in that case, I'm gonna guess that it was a two and three round again. He um, inverts it, he's shooting us. He's not using the jammer yet, which is interesting. All right, we take one damage. Okay, um, so I'm gonna guess that it's now one and two, right? Yeah, one live, two blanks. So I'm trying to think here, what do I wanna do? Do I wanna just, do I wanna eject? Does ejecting do anything for me? Um, I mean, it kinda does. Yeah, I think it does. All right, so I'm gonna use the beer. Um, I eject a blank, and then I'm gonna shoot him here. Okay, so we hit him for one, that's pretty good. Uh, and then he's gonna jam us, yep, and uh, boom. So I still haven't figured out, I don't know if uh, jamming carries over into the next loadout, there's been mixed things. I think before one of the patches, one of the updates, you could, or the, the jamming would carry over to the new loadout, and then there was a new update that made it so that it or sorry, it didn't carry over and then it changed to carrying over. I haven't taken a look at the code yet. I'm leaving it where it carries over to the next loadout because that's how I had it initially. But I might have to fix that. I'll have to take a look at the code. But uh, for now, we're assuming that uh, jamming carries over from loadout to loadout, which is unfortunate for me here. All right, three live, one blank. Gotta remember that. All right, so we got a jammer, we got uh, adrenaline, and then he's got beer and handsaw. We're actually in a pretty good position here, even though we're jammed. Um, so three and one, he's gonna take a shot at us. Actually, this is not a good position because he's gonna hand saw and there's a two thirds chance that he hits us and he actually gets to eject twice. Ooh, shit. All right, so he ejects the blank. Okay, that's a guaranteed loss for us. Oh man, we came so close. We came so close. And yet, Wayne right here, he is the winner. All right, all right. Wayne's the winner, Wayne's the winner. Congratulations, Wayne. I was pretty close, though. I was, I'm was. i proud of myself for that, playing against this, you know, AI right here. Do you like my windscreen, by the way? It's beautiful, huh? Um, anyway, that was fun. I think I'm going to give it one more try. I'm going to give it one more try, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, I'll be right back. All right, we are re-racking here, uh, and I get to go first, which is good. Uh, I should mention, so people have been are probably going to ask me if I'm going to make this available on GitHub. Uh, for people to download and the answer is of course i've actually reached out to mike and just made sure he's cool with that because you know it's using the mechanics from his game um and he said it was totally fine so soon you will be able to play this for yourself so i'm gonna put the executable up you can download it you can play against my ai's i'm gonna have all the code as well so you can write your own ai and play against it or have your ai's play against each other so it should be a lot of fun but uh, for now, you can watch me play, and we'll, uh, well, I'm still developing it. But soon, I'll make this available to everybody for free. So it should be fun. Anyway, going into the uh, attempt number two. So we got uh, four live, two blank. Got to remember that. And we get to go first. We have four health. Let's grab some items. I got adrenaline um, and an inverter and a jammer. Pretty good. He's got an inverter, an inverter, and cigarettes. All right. So we get to go first, um, so I take my turn. So four and two. Um, I think what I want to do here is, um, I think I'm gonna take a tip from him. I don't think it makes sense. I don't need to jam yet. No, I don't need to jam yet. Um, there isn't much of a reason to do so. I'm trying to think if I want to use adrenaline to steal his cigarettes. It's not bad, but I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to opt to just shoot at him first and see what happens. Alright, we hit him for one damage. Uh, so it's now three and two, and now he's going to go. Let's see what he does. So he's going to probably use cigarettes here, go back up to four, and then uh, he's going to shoot back at us and hits us for one damage. Alright, so it's now two and two here. 
So two and two. So what I'm going to do is probably, do I want to jam now or do I want to jam on the next turn? I think I want to jam on the next turn because he's probably going to like invert and shoot back. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to uh, just shoot him. And we hit him for one damage, good. So now it's one live, two blanks, so he's probably going to invert and then uh, probably shoot us here. Uh, hits us for one, all right, so now it's one live, one blank. So uh, what I'll do here, I think, is I can jam him. Yeah, I'll go ahead and jam him. Um, let's go ahead and do that. And then I think I just shoot at him um, let me think here. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do here is I'm going to invert. The reason I'm doing this is because if I hit the blank, I get to shoot him twice, which is really good. If I hit the live, then I'll shoot this one, and then I still get to shoot myself and then take the first turn of the next loadout. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot him here. Okay, so that was the live one, but we still get to go again. And then now we get to start the next loadout. So I'm pretty fine with that. All right, so we do this, and then we move on. Two live, three blank. All right, let's put, take them out of the box here. Two live, three blank. Um, we got magnifying glass, two burner phones, and a handsaw. He got uh, magnifying glass, cigarettes, burner phone, adrenaline. All right, so I get to start two live, three blanks. It's not the greatest position to be in here. Uh, so, I mean, I'm definitely going to steal his cigarettes. I don't think that there's any way around that. So let's start off with that. Um, I'm going to steal those. Yoink. All right, so we get uh, cigarettes. So two live, three blank. Um, the question is what we want to do next. I think um, I'll use a burner phone here. Okay, so we learn uh, this shell, this middle shell is, excuse me, is blank. Should I use another burner phone is the question. I don't know that I need to. Um, does it really do much? Uh, I mean, I guess it kind of does. Well, okay, well, let's use the magnifying glass next. I think we want to do that regardless. All right, so that's a blank. Okay, so this shell has a two-thirds chance of being alive. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and just aim at ourselves here get that out of the way two-thirds chance of being alive now the question is if I use the burner phone I'm probably just gonna see alive and then it's not really gonna tell me anything about the next shell alternatively if I see the blank that's guaranteed I, mean, I don't know I'll, I'll use it fuck it why not All right, we're gonna use the burner phone and we learn the other blank all right so these are guaranteed all right cool that was uh, that was pretty lucky so now I'm gonna saw it off um, and then I get to shoot him here. Boom. All right, so he's at one. Pretty good. And then uh, he's going to use the burner phone to learn the last shell, which is a blank. Um, and then he's going to use the magnifying glass to learn that this shell is a blank. So now he knows the next one is live. He's going to invert it. Yep, he's inverting it so that he gets to go first on the next loadout. I think that's really smart when he's at one and he gets cigarettes. Uh, but I get cigarettes too. But he can, st oh, he can steal my cigarettes. Fuck. That's really good for him. All right, so he goes up to two. He's definitely stealing my cigarettes. He goes up to three. Um, and then he's going to shoot me here. Okay, well, all I'll do is uh, shoot back at him. And we hit him. All right, cool. So now the last one's blank, but he's going to go first on the next loadout. Uh, that's not good. All right, three live, three blank. We get two handsaws and a jammer. He gets a beer, a burner phone, cigarettes. I mean, that's really bad because he gets to steal our jammer. All right, three and three. He's going to start now. He's going to smoke back up to three. Oof. And then three and three. What's he going to do? This could be really bad. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So three and three. Okay, he's going to use the burner phone. Learns a future shell. I'm pretty sure. I think if he, yeah, if he uses adrenaline here and steals the jammer, he probably just wins. He's going to shoot at us. Hits us with a blank, though. That's good. That's good. Good way to start. So now it's three and two. He knows one of the shells. Uh, he's going to just shoot at us again. All right, so three and two. Hits us. Okay, but we're still alive. We're still alive. 
So now it's uh, two and two. And uh, I think I'll use the burner phone here. All right, so we've learned the last shell is live. Now I gotta think about this. The last shell is live. There's one more live shell in this range here. So the next shell is less likely to be live if I miss the live. So if I shoot here and it's a blank, then he can eject and okay so if i if i shoot here it's a blank right which happens two-thirds of the time it's gonna go down to being um 50 50 that the next shell after that is blank or live and then the last shell is live of course wayne doesn't know that the last shell is live so he may think that the both of these shells could be live and the last one's blank which is impossible um what does he do there but if he ejects the blank then uh he just wins so fuck i'm starting to think though and then if i shoot at myself and i hit the blank which happens two-thirds of the time then it's blank live and does that help me at all? Not really. It doesn't help me because if I hit him with the live, then he still will hit us with the last shell. Okay, so I think I'm just going to saw it off and shoot at him. Um, we're probably still losing here. Um, I'm just going to boom. All right, we hit him. All right, sweet. So the remaining two shells, we might fuck this up. Uh, that's pretty good. All right, so now he's going to go. He's probably going to drink the beer. No, he's shooting himself. Interesting, okay. Hits himself the blank. Oh, no. Hits himself the blank. And then, okay, well, he shoots at us. Okay, I'm, I think the reason he did that, because we're both at one, um, and I don't think it mattered. Man, he got lucky, though. He got lucky. Fuck. That was close. That was a close one. All right, all right. Well, well played, Wayne. All right, we get to start round two. We have uh, three shells, one live, two blank. I got a magnifying glass, I got a beer, and I've got a jammer. He's got a burner phone, a magnifying glass, and cigarettes. Oh, he might have learned one of those shells from his earlier um, burner phone. Fuck. Yeah, I didn't think about that. All right, anyway. Anyway, we get a start, though. It's uh, one and two, one and two. All right, so we get to take our turn here. So uh, I think what I'll do is just uh, use a beer to start off with. We eject a blank, okay? Now... The question is, do I jam here? Um, do I use a magnifying glass? What do I want to do? I think what I'll do is... Yeah, okay, so I'm going to use the magnifying glass. And then the next one's live. Yep, and then I will jam him. There's no reason not to, really. And uh, then we just uh, shoot him. He's jammed, and then uh, we get to go first on the next loadout. So that's pretty good. And uh, cool. All right, so uh, it's two live, one blank. All right, he's got magnifying glass, handsaw, inverter, and a jam. I get a jammer. Sweet, uh, adrenaline and adrenaline. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, all right. So two live, one blank, and we get a start. So what do we want to do? He can't jam him because he's already been jammed on the last uh, turn, so I can't use it quite yet. But he doesn't have adrenaline, which is good. Um, okay, so two live, one blank, and I have two adrenaline. So I probably want to steal his cigarettes, because that's just dealing a guaranteed one to him, essentially, which is pretty good. Um, and then probably his handsaw, right? I think that's probably our best bet, because we have a two-thirds chance of hitting him, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's steal the cigarettes, even though we don't get any benefit out of it, but we're depriving him of healing. So I'm going to use the adrenaline next and I'm going to steal his handsaw here and we saw it off and then I'm just going to go ahead and shoot him. Oh man, it was a blank though. So the reigning two are live, which is unfortunate, but he's going to invert this one, shoot himself, which forces us to, oh no, he's, he's going to take the last shot at us. Interesting. All right. That's fine. Um, it's too live, too blank, but we get to start the next loadout, so I don't know if that was even a good move exactly. Um, alright, so too live, too blank, so I got cigarettes, inverter, inverter, 
hand he got handsaw inverter beer all right i gotta start though so two and two uh, let me smoke back up to four here two and two um i think i want to jam here because he can if i hit the live here he could potentially he can get through the loadout so i'll, I'll jam first so let's go ahead and do that we jam him so now it's two and two. There's no reason to invert. So I just shoot at him. Let's see what happens. And Henman will blank. And then uh, he skips his turn. I just shoot at him again. Uh, no reason to use the, the inverter again. All right, we hit him for one. Okay. And then uh, it's one and one now. He's going to use a beer. And he's going to use an inverter. Uh, and he... Uh, oh, he's, he's opting to take the uh, first turn the next loadout. Probably smart. So two live, one blank. Um, okay, we got inverter, inverter... Adrenaline, and uh, I get a burner phone, beer, and a jammer. Um, I would say it would be good to get a jammer, but he can steal it. Um, so I think it's two and one, right? Two and one, not one and two. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. All right, two and one. He's probably going to steal our jammer, I would assume. Um, all right, so he's going to use the burner phone to learn the last shell. So he knows what this one is. Let's see what he does after this, though. He's going to use the magnifying glass to learn the next shell. Um, so if it... Okay, wait, wait. If it's two and one, which I'm pretty sure it is, the only reason that he would use a magnifying glass there is if this last shell is alive. So we know that the last shell is live. Because otherwise, if it was a blank, he would know that these two shells are both live. So this one has to be a live shell. Okay, let's remember that. He's going to use adrenaline. He's going to take our jammer. He's going to invert this one, and he's going to shoot at himself with a blank. Okay, so these two are live now. Um, okay, okay. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This is blank live. Okay, so now he's going to shoot, aim at himself. Yeah, so we know this one's alive. Okay, so then he aims at himself, and then now he's uh, sawing it off. Shooting us for two, and then he gets to start the next loadout. All right, four and two. That's pretty good. Okay, so good for him, I mean. So uh, we got a handsaw, handsaw, inverter, burner phone. He's got jammer, adrenaline, magnifying glass, adrenaline. Four and two. Uh, I get a start, but I'm jammed, so it goes back to him. Uh, fortunately, he can't jam us here, but we don't have a, an adrenaline to steal his jammer, which is unfortunate. But we're each at two here. Uh, neither of us have cigarettes, so somebody's going to die on this loadout. Hopefully not me, but he probably will be. Actually, that's guaranteed because he's got... He can steal my handsaw, yeah, and then he's got a magnifying glass and an inverter. So, I'm dead. Alright, well, uh, you know, I'm going to be losing this one. I'm going to be losing this one, so... Um, because I lost round one, right? Um, and... Uh, yeah, I lost round one, so it's impossible for me to win from here on out. I could play out round three, um, but I might just start a new game, you know? I might just start a new game here and see if I can't get at least one match one against Wayne. But uh, he's, a, he's a smart, smart guy, unfortunately for me. He's, a, he's in the tank right now. I mean, d dude, it's it's a guaranteed one. I, I was thinking about trying to program that in so that, like, if there's an obvious guaranteed win, just take it. All right, but he kills us, splatters our brains on the wall. Um, and uh, we will go to round three. Um, okay, so uh, it's actually getting kind of late tonight. I'm probably going to... I'll play out round three just so we can, you know, see the win screen again for Wayne. Cheer him on. Uh, but uh, maybe I'll record some future videos of me facing off against the AI again. Um, but this is just kind of giving you an idea of something that you can look forward to. You'll be able to play this, like I said, for free. So it should be a lot of fun. Keep an eye out. I will definitely let you guys know. Let's play out the third round, you know, just uh, just for the hell of it. Four live, two blank. All right, we got to remember that. We got to start now. Yeah, he's got adrenaline, jammer, inverter. I've got burner phone, adrenaline, adrenaline. Okay. Uh, we get a start, so I got to steal his jammer, which we definitely want to do. Uh, there's no reason not to do that, so let's just go ahead and get that out of the way. So we steal the jammer, and we're going to jam him. Um, okay, so next thing, so it's four and two. Um, do I even, I don't think using a burner phone is even really helpful here. 
Um, it just makes it so that I guess he can't steal it from me, but I don't really care if he steals my burner phone. So I'm just going to go ahead and shoot him here and probably hit him. We don't. All right, so it's now four and one. He is jammed, though. And then uh, it goes back to us. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot him again and probably hit him. All right, so now it is uh, three and one, and he gets to go. Uh, he's going to aim at us, and he hits us with another blank. All right, so the remaining ones are all live. So i got to think about it what I want to do here. So, if I shoot him, um, then it will go to his turn. Yeah, okay, this is good. This is good. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot him here. Go ahead and do that. Shoot him. Boom, hit him for one. And then now, uh, him inverting is actually bad. So, uh, he should just shoot us back. But now what I can do is I can steal his uh, inverter so that I get to start the next loadout when he's at two, which I think is pretty good. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, and we get to start the next loadout with him at two. Uh, we got a jammer, that's really good, but we have just a bunch of fucking burner phones, but whatever. Um, okay, so we get to start, we get to take the turn. I mean, I definitely have to jam here because he's got uh, adrenaline. So let's go ahead and um, jam. Now I gotta think about this here. So if I shoot at him, that's the blank, then I have to shoot at him again, and then he gets to start the new loadout. If I shoot myself, and it's the live one, then I still get to start the next loadout, so I think I do actually shoot myself here. Um, so it's a blank, all right, sweet. So now I'm gonna go ahead and shoot him. Boom, all right, cool. And then it goes to him, but he's jammed, and we get to start the next loadout. Two live, two blank. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Two live, two blank. Um, and we get a fuckload of burner phones. He gets a start, but it goes back to us. Uh, two live, two blank. So, what do we want to do here? Um, we probably use burner phones. Let's have them. So, let's start off by doing that, get a little more information. So, we learned that that one is blank. Uh, let's use another one. We learned the same shell. That's fine. We'll, learn, we'll try to learn a different one. We learn the same shell again. Great. Okay. And uh, we learn the same shell every time. All right. Well, that's cool. You know, that's, this is the power of the burner phone. <laughs> Get to learn one shell with three or four phones. Great. That's fine. Um, okay. So it's uh, two thirds chance the next shell is live. Now the question would be, I mean, I think I want to steal his cigarettes. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the best play. Is steal cigarettes here. Um, go back up to four. Now I'm going to actually use the saw here so he can't steal it from me, even though he's at one. Um, so that he can't steal from me in case we miss here, but we don't. All right, we end up winning that round, but it doesn't matter because Wayne wins because he won. The first two rounds, but hey, at least we got to win one of the three rounds in both matches. It was a, it was a valiant effort. Um, I've I've done my you know I've done my best against our AI overlord. Excuse me, I'm going through puberty. My voice cracked. Our AI overlords, but uh, unfortunately, I was bested. Um, he is kind of like a son to me, though, so it's uh, you know it's okay. Congratulations, Wayne. But uh, anyway, just uh, like I said. Um, this code will be coming out soon. Should be fun. Um, it will also be working for, you know, more than uh, two players. It's just right now I only have the, uh, the smart AI working for two players. I'm working on getting it working for three or four players as well. Uh, we're going to see if I can make it performant so it can actually, you know, calculate this shit in a timely manner. I mean, I'll be able to make it do okay enough. I just have to, you know, make sure... Um, I don't know. I'll work on it. Don't worry about it. I got it covered. So I should be able to get something out in that regard. But uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. What's cool too is um, once I get the code out there, it's kind of like a little platform, an experimentation platform. So if you know how to code, and I'll be doing some kind of code tutorials and stuff like that, I will uh, tell people how they can, you know, add... Like a lot of people have custom item ideas, for example. If you want to test one of those out, I can show you how to add it into... The code I've written and you can test it out and see how it does in the game which would be cool I was also thinking about it, it'd be kind of cool to do a um, like a custom item tournament because uh, 
it, it, you can kind of just propose item ideas, I can implement them, and then we can just see how the AIs, like what they do with them. I think that'd be kind of fun, and then we can pick out like what the most fun item that you guys created would be. I think there's a lot of fun shit that I can do with this uh, little app I'm writing, and uh, as I said, Mike was generous enough to have no opposition to me just slapping this on GitHub for everybody to use, so should be sweet, should be sweet. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if uh, you got any feature ideas, any anything that you think I should add. I mean, it's still a work in progress. I'm still kind of, you know, getting the details all all set. I want to add some more like animations, like when you're using the items and shit. I want to have them like smoking up and stuff. But uh, let me know if you have any ideas about how to make the game, uh, the the app I'm working on a little bit better. I'm all ears, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, this is all part of my uh, video that I'm going to be doing on multiplayer analysis, so this isn't just for shits and gigs. Um, that video, I'm hoping it comes out soon. I've been putting a lot of time into the code here, um, and I'm getting closer and closer every day, so just be patient. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.